Hey everyone, everyone. Welcome, welcome back, back to Five Minute Eats, and today we have got a little snack and food item for you. Snack attack. This is Wise new loose screws nacho cheese flavored corn chips, three and a half ounce bag for about two dollars. And it says this product supports reforestation, which is cool and all. Now this is from Wise Foods out of Berwick, Pennsylvania. And I thought this part was kind of interesting. It says on the back, it's time to loosen up. When did the snack aisle get so uptight? Boring, bland, hyper-functional snacks are everywhere and they're turning snack time into nap time. Luckily for you, Wise's loose screws are here to crank up the craziness with the crunchiest, tastiest, flat out zaniest corn snacks of all time. Don't get it twisted, loose screws are fully loaded with your favorite flavors and the high key energy that true snackers crave. Now, here's the thing. I actually think I was, back in the day, I was at their warehouse. Oh, really? Yeah. And uh, I remember it was like a small town or something like that. And I took it, I took the, the potato chips that I picked up, I took it to uh, Alabama. Mm. And uh, so I do love that they're saying, don't be so, you know, boring, boring and, and all that. But at the same time, they're supporting um, anti, is it foresting or something? What was it? Reforesting. Reforesting, yeah. I, and here's my thing with all of this, right? I feel like they may be uh, politically incorrect because they're, their um, spokesman or whatever is like uh, mentally uh, challenged or what's the oh, politically- Oh, he's got some loose screws. Yeah, what's yeah. the politically correct term for these guys nowadays, you know? Uh, mentally challenged, uh, mentally handicapped or something like that. Maybe they need to have a more politically correct spokesman. Perhaps, you know? perhaps. Yeah. And guys, if you're new to our channel, basically we review every day grocery items. So before you spend your hard earned money, let us tell you if it's worth it. Now, so uh, this is like a twist on Doritos? Well, I mean, honestly, these look exactly, <laughs> these look exactly yeah. like the Fritos twists, but these are nacho instead of like barbecue. It doesn't smell that great. It smells funky. It smells like old oil. It's made out of corn, vegetable oil. I think, didn't it say like vegetable oil or canola or sunflower? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Con seed. It can be whatever, whatever's <laughs> cheap that day. It doesn't f***ing matter, man. They need you to take this stuff. It's, um, Dude, what is it, like seed oil? Dude, what if the, what if the American seed it's, oil market is really just the remnants of the Indian street food yeah. oil? Like, yeah, there's a lot that's of- That's all the goodness in there. Yeah, this just doesn't sound right. And I think that's why these uh, chip aisle is not like uh, loose anymore because <laughs> They know better, they right? They went a little bit too loose. Yeah. If you'd like to support this channel, the easiest way to do that is using our Amazon links the next time you shop there. All right, guys, welcome back to our rating system. Thumbs up, right again, thumbs up, we're not. So for me, this is a thumbs down. So going into this, I wanted to like this because it's a small chip manufacturer. Unfortunately, this thing, the, the there were some issues with this. So one thing I did like was the texture. I liked how crunchy it was, but it wasn't hard. So I like that aspect of it. And I actually like this uh, shape they have it in. I think that's a good idea. Now onto the problem. And the problem is there's no consistency with these chips. Because the first one I had, initial taste was like, okay, it's cheesy. But then the longer I chewed it, it was just like a bare corn chip. And that was, very boring and then the second one was very cheesy but also very salty it was too much i was like what the hell is going on mm -hmm. and then everyone after that was just all over the place did not know what to expect so it's the consistency that i have an issue with i think that's the main killer here mm. otherwise actually i kind of i think this is not bad i think there's something there they just need to tighten the screw Thumbs down. If you like what we're doing here, please consider sending us super thanks. It helps us continue to provide more amazing content. All right, for me, this one is going to be a thumbs down. I feel the same. My biggest issue with these was the inconsistency because I found myself searching like a little squirrel, you know, trying to dig through there and find, is there one that has a little bit more coating on it? because really those were the only ones that had any flavor to them. Yeah. And the flavor was pretty good. Like when you got one that was it nicely was coated. Cheese. Yeah, it yeah. was 
it was a bold nacho cheese flavor, which was nice. Like you said though, borderline too salty if there was too much on one chip, but then there's not enough on others. If they could just get a nice even coating on all of them, I think that it would be so much better because the texture was pretty good. It was a lot like the Fritos twists, which I really do love, but a little bit and more And just for airy. the record, I don't like those. Yeah, yeah, you don't like them. I don't like them, and I'm a big Fritos fan, but I don't like the the, the spiral. Texture. Yeah, the spiral. Yeah. Well, they're crunchier. They're harder yeah. than a regular Frito, whereas this, I feel like, is more akin to the texture of a regular Frito. It's yeah. not as crunchy as the Fritos twists. However, the Fritos twist has a lot better distribution of the flavor all over the chip. So maybe you guys could learn a thing or two about that because I feel like you really screwed up on coating all of these screws. To sum it up, thumbs down, thumbs down. And if you guys buy from Amazon, use our Amazon link. The reason is when you do that, we get 10 cents, 50 cents, possibly even a dollar, which means we can continue to review things. All right, guys, that's the video. If you like what we're doing here, definitely check out our other channel, Food Prep Inc. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.